switch roller life uh, i hope you have seen a lot of videos related to the solar panel design and uh, other technologies as well now you come to know like uh, how the solar panel is supposed to be designed uh, um, um, we want you to be clear the solar panel performance is purely based upon the locations and a lot of calculations being involved uh, it's not just a matter of uh, kilowatt and kv and so and so even it's not a plug and play job uh, if you are planning for the perfect class sessions uh, probably you can approach street solar life at gmail.com we are here to help you uh, you may already got installed the solar panel but you're not sure what reading is going to get and how much you are getting you're not sure for the entire year so as well as uh, many people uh, has been involved in the solar panels installation etc if you have any concerns about the system performance and how to design everything what's supposed to be and how it works if you have more concern on the systems uh, probably you can put a mail to street solar life at gmail.com and now we are going to see the solar panel uh, locations the installation locations uh, what we have considered here uh, that's in uh, Uttarakhand state of India the exact locations will be the Badrinath temple it's located in the northern side sector it's um, extremely near to the Himalayas yeah that's the Uttarakhand it's one of the famous places in India yeah and uh, I believe I've seen a lot of uh, uh, details related to the solar and uh, we want you to be clear like how the system is performing in every location so so what we do is uh, we, we used to take the weather condition as well as the historic data and we used to collect a uh, lot of uh, data related to the weather and environment uh, uh, we used to look into the clear and sky, share temperature and the weather condition, temperature, wind pressure, etc. A lot of characteristics you can we could say is more than 50 characteristics even there in the weather itself. And then we used to see the panel specifications uh, and you have to evaluate both uh, weather and panel specification and other sub circuits. Uh, if you are planning to make uh, proper systems, you have to put all your dedication at the beginning stage. Uh, so that you can avoid a lot of operating costs at the later stage as well. Uh, the system which can be designed uh, for 2 year or 5 or 10 or 20. It uh, purely depends upon your requirement. Uh, if you are more uh, strict with the uh, beginning stage itself and then you may lose a lot of things uh, uh, and the maintenance point of view too. So that's what we are trying to explain here. And today we are going to see, as I said, uh, that's the Badrina temple is located at the Uttarakhand. Uh, so the exact locations, uh, we was, what we could say, the latitude and longitude could be 30.74 and 79.49. Assume if you have any of the place, kind of home or commercials, to that location. So we have taken the assumptions. Uh, we assume we have a home or commercial at this place. Uh, okay. And then we calculate some basic flows to how to make a solar panel for that location so okay so uh, the thing is a lot of data okay so you can easily optimize the budget and then you could be able to get a better performance i hope this video will be more helpful for the many people um, and many people has got installed the systems and many people already has been the solar projects as well so if you have any concerns related to the solar, probably you can put a mail to streetsolarlife at gmail.com. Yeah. So now what calculations we have, uh, let me check here. So what we have considered, we have taken the basic load. Uh, even we have not considered any of the higher load, like kind of grazer, kind of AZ or even the motor or something else. So we, have not, we have just taken the minimum loads, so kind of lights, fans, etc. As in, if you have this kind of loads. Uh, Okay, let me go what details we have considered here. So we have considered 25 hours load, 4 number, which is running for 5 hours per day. 10 watts load, 8 numbers, 4 hours running per day. 100 watts load, 4 numbers, 8 hours running per day. 100 watts load, 1 number, 6 hours running per day. 50 watts load, 2 numbers, 12 hours running per day. Yeah, these are all the loads running for 100% of duty cycle. So when you calculate uh, these uh, loads, uh, let us see that uh, what units are uh, you have to <clears throat> what will be the unit consumption for the entire year to run this kind of loads for that location so, so it is coming almost uh, 1472 units is required it's a power consumption 1472 units yearly okay if you calculate monthly it will be something 122 and 30 okay 
So what we do is we used to take the weather data and we used to calculate uh, the for the entire year from the Jan to December. We used to evaluate uh, so what will be the sun radiation etc. So based upon that we used to calculate the solar panel. Okay. So to achieve this unit uh, for that locations, uh, uh, you have to go with uh, 2000 WP polycrystalline panels. Uh, if you are planning for the mono, if you have budgets, probably you can go ahead with that. And uh, we even we have considered a lot of uh, losses for these panels for the locations too. Uh, we normally we used to consider all the aging factor, temperature corrections, etc. Even the dust loss also we have concerns. It means to say is you don't have to clean the panels every day or week. Uh, you can do ahead. Uh, you can go ahead with uh, um, probably in a three or once in a three or six months. That's more than sufficient. Uh, and uh, just uh, you have to take care if there is any. Um, 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 you have to be very sure due to the climate it's near to the Himalaya. So if the assume if the panel is completely at least 90, 95 percent is covered, it's not covered with uh, dust. Uh, so you can be able to achieve the uh, your units what we are saying now okay if you are planning for the uh, store the energies to the battery uh, so you have to concentrate on the battery uh, specification and characteristics of the batteries why you are going to uh, use it there uh, it could be a solar type and you have to see uh, the aging factor temperature connections uh, DOD and what cut off level and then you have to size accordingly if you are really required for the autonomy is uh, okay uh, otherwise if you are charging a lot of power if you are doing uh, de uh, deep for uh, discharging the sense uh, charge and uh, discharge the batteries frequently that battery life will get uh, uh, reduced so uh, for these locations uh, you have to go with the eight number of batteries uh, to achieve the autonomy if you are planning for number of days of backup uh, you can uh, put a multiple batteries by putting a series and parallel to achieve the uh, autonomies for that location so and then you have to look into the uh, sub circuit called a uh, conversion kits uh, for the AC circuits and then uh, on top of that you have to see the protections levels uh, uh, like what kind of protections you are going to support and then you have to see the cable sizing etc okay so if you are uh, concentrating a lot many things at the beginning stage itself uh, then it will be more easy and you can save your maintenance cost uh, probably uh, if you are not doing well probably you have to do a lot of money I mean you have to spend uh, you have to do a lot of repeated activities for the after two years you know so if anyone is planning for the perfect system uh, probably uh, you have to do a lot of evolutions at the beginning stage uh, because the system can be designed uh, for a two or five or ten or twenty so it's purely based upon your requirements uh, and what you are planning and how you are planning so so all the arrangements and orientations everything has to be taken uh, into the account to make the perfect systems so that uh, you could be able to see the real performance how it's going to be and all i hope i uh, we have uh, given a lot of videos uh, related to the solar in the um, our channels probably i uh, hope a lot of people got some information about the system how it's supposed to be so if you have any concerns related to the solar panels, probably you can put a mail to streetsolarlife at gmail.com. We are the people here, uh, I think more than many years in the global projects as well. We are also guiding to many um, firms and uh, people so how the system is supposed to be. Uh, I hope uh, uh, we can uh, help you a lot on these systems. Uh, I think uh, if you have any concerns, just let us know. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Thanks again. Bye.